All right, good morning, everyone. Well, making my annual trip, uh, probably my one and only trip, usually to uh, Oconomowoc Lake here in Oconomowoc. Uh, it is 4.30 in the morning. Sun's just about to peek its little head up, but uh, we already got the boat in the water. I'm hoping the motor fires up. It's been about two months since I've used it, so new gas in it, and uh, hopefully it starts up. But uh, got a little bit of a trip out to the first spot. Gonna be uh, hitting some top water and uh, looking for those smallmouth. So let's see if they're biting. It got a little bit cooler last night, down the mid 50s, but it's supposed to be pretty nice today. Sun's supposed to come out, so uh, wanted to get out here before uh, before it gets too light out and uh, hopefully get on some top water. But we'll have to wait and see. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So I'm gonna start out with a little uh, Chapo frog pattern, and uh, I'm throwing it on my 72 Celis uh, medium heavy with my just normal SLX bait casting rod, reel. I mean rod. Let's see how it goes. Try to not make too much noise here. Just let it sit. So they started moving again. That's gotta be a small mouth. Stay down, dude. I have no idea how big it is. It's definitely a small mouth. Stay down. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Smallmouth, son of a gun. <sighs> Man. Oh, crap. All the way to the boat. And it comes off. Oh, I can hook my net perfectly, though. <sighs> All right, guys. Well, had a fish on. Nice smallmouth. I believe it was a smallmouth. It was fighting like a smallie. I uh, got it all the way back to the boat, and right at the net it came off. <laughs> so um, I went to check. I cast it and I checked my phone. Let the little chapel sit there for a second. And as soon as I started to move it, it smacked it. So I'm thinking maybe that's the key. So I'll let it maybe sit a little bit and just pop it. Start it going. See if something reacts to it. But man. That was a nice fish that I lost. Hopefully there's more. Well, I know there's more, but hopefully we can get him to bite. All right, guys, I'm gonna switch over to this little frog popper for a little bit. Let's see if that helps.
That's a little guy. Stay on though. Yeah, little guy. Get in here. What we got? It's a small mouth. Well, you ain't as big as the last one. I'll take you. Just gonna make it worse, dude. All right, cool. Got the skunk off with the popper. Let's get this dude unhooked. One. Come on. Got him. You definitely aren't as big as your your buddy that I caught earlier. Or almost caught. If I can get my Well, got the species I was after. Definitely a downsize though. I'll take it though. With the popper, never fails. All right, well, maybe they're liking the popper better. I think slowing it down and letting it pause a little bit longer is helping. Cause that's how I got the first fish. So maybe that's the, the pattern that they're looking for. But. Only one way to find out is to keep throwing it out there, but I'm gonna move floating kind of out of the way I want to be. It's so calm out, I'm not needing to anchor myself at all, so. All right, cool, Let's see if we can get another one. Oh, man. Let's see what we got over here. And hit that as soon as it hit the water. Stay on, dude. As soon as that hit the water. Stay down. Run with me? Yeah. Stay down, stay down, stay down. I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Oh, there's another one with it too. Stay down. Stay on. in the face that's a big small mouth though holy balls that's a good one there's another one chasing it too i skin hooked it but i'll take it real quick and i gotta figure out how to untangle this from my net again there we go as soon as that hit the water Sorry, you guys probably can't see anything but my feet. There's my own line. The downside of doing the net. With all these treble hooks. Come on. It's barely there. There you go. Get you out of there. Look at this. 
Nice small mouth, dude. Don't lose you now. Look at there. Look at that guy. There's another one just as big with him. Oh, calm down. Let's see if I can get a weight on him. Ah, there he goes. He's still got a lot of life in him. And he just stabbed me too. Ah, he got me. He got me. All right, I'm gonna let you chill in that for a minute. place get a quick weight ah, he got me good with this little dorsal fin he's ready to go as soon as I hit the water that was pretty cool three yeah you're gonna hey 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 three pounds three pounds two ounces Nice. All right, we'll let you go. You're fine. One more look at you. Look at that. All right, three pounds, two ounces. He's ready to go. There it goes. Woo! Oh, soon as that thing hit the water, that thing smashed. I wasn't even paying attention. Wow. I think that was bigger than the first one. Maybe around the same size, but there was another one just as big following it. It's crazy. Well, see if there's any more hiding out there. I'm gonna fix my thing and get back out. All right, guys, well, didn't hook him very well. He was, must have missed and got caught in the side of the face, but I'll count it, I guess. Uh, three pound smallmouth, not too bad. I'm gonna tell you, not gonna lie, not really feeling the best today this morning, but came all the way out here. So he got me in the finger too with his little dorsal fin. I'm gonna stick it out for a little bit longer. I don't know, my stomach's being funky. Threw that right on top of his head. <laughs> Hot over here in the sun, though. Dang. All right, guys. Well, as you can see, got the boat launch right up there. I'm heading back. I feel like doo doo, so cutting the morning short i did get out here like at five so it's a little past eight now so a little bit over three hours is about all i could do um caught two fish landed two fish uh hook three that first one was a nice one nice smallie um all of them were what i was targeting out here I, this lake has good smallmouth you just gotta know where to find them and then know how to catch them <laughs> and that's a little bit tricky so three fish in three hours isn't like a bang up day but i'll take it um wish i felt a little bit better i would have stayed a little bit longer but it is quite a drive um just to get here when i did i have to get up at about 3 a.m to drive here and by the time you get down this little canal and stuff uh into a spot where you can fish it takes a little little bit of time so about to go over the under the road here in a minute so hopefully you enjoyed today's video for what it was it's gonna be a short one but caught some fish which is always a positive so if you did like it uh probably gonna start echoing here if you did like it hit that subscribe button uh give me a thumbs up and uh maybe leave me a comment um yeah so go check out some of my other videos too and uh hopefully i will see you guys next time